Graphical user interface toolkits report input events in whole pixels, so input precision is limited by the size and density of the display. But there are many cases where people want to interact beyond pixel precision, like selecting a specific video frame using a timeline slider, or querying a point on an interactive graph. Several strategies exist which get around this problem, such as giving up on direct manipulation and entering values with the keyboard, zooming in, but this is an explicit modal switch and the overview context is lost, adding a second slider for precision, but this is just a spatial modal switch, or layering another transfer function for precision using a technique like pointer lock. But none of these strategies take advantage of our fine movement capability. Subpixel interaction leverages the high sensitivity of current mice so we can precisely and directly manipulate data without any pixel limitations. This split screen map demonstrates the subpixel advantage. The detail view on the right is scaled to the resolution of the input device. One pixel equals one mouse count, which is 4,000 counts per inch for this mouse. One cell of this grid represents one pixel on the map on the left about 47 pixels. With today's operating systems, there is no way to interact in between these grid cells. With subpixel input, you can use your own fine movement capability to precisely select locations in between pixels. For example, pointing exactly to Cambridge, Massachusetts from an overview map showing all of America. Subpixel precision can be leveraged in motor space only with existing transfer functions. In this subpixel enabled calendar, events like a flight departure can be directly manipulated with one minute accuracy. With a subpixel tuned system transfer function, subpixel precision can be even greater while still preserving a normal pointing experience. Now, individual video frames can be selected with a typical slider, or elements in a drawing program can be directly manipulated while zoomed out with very high precision. Also, visual feedback like lenses are fully compatible with subpixel and enable subpixel manipulation where visual feedback is necessary, like this image cropping example. Pixels may be the limit of what we can see, but they shouldn't limit what we can do.